Alright guys, what are we looking at today? Something new and dinky. Tiny little thing. This is a Turkish bow um, by Ali Bo. It's a short Turkish. And when I say short, I mean short. Overall length is 41 inches. Um, with 39 inch string. Very compact. Now before you start thinking to yourself, it's just a junior boat, it's not, it's anything but. It's actually available in weights up to 50 pound draw weight. Now that in anybody's, to my mind, in anybody's book, is a substantial piece of kit. Um, right, so it comes with a sleeve, um, standard Alibo sleeve, and a string, and a little bit of paperwork, and that's about it. It doesn't come with a string key, but that's one of my own. Um, but anyway, let's get this strung up, and we'll have a proper look at it. Right, so here we go. Get this string on. Right, as it always, when stringing, make sure the string's in the right position before you let all the tension off. Otherwise you could have a little bit of an accident. Right, make sure it's lined and not twisted. Now the good thing about all of these bows is they've actually got a, they seem to have a shaped sear which allows you to line the string up correctly. Right, so there we go. Dinky little bow. Very short bow. Now, as I said, it's available up to 50 pound draw weight. And in something that short, that is going to be a quite substantial piece of bow to pull. This one is only 30 pound draw weight. But 30 pound at 28 inches. Um, now the manufacturers and all the everybody else who's reviewed it, the retailers all say, do not try and draw it past 29. So we're not going to. We're going to go to 28 and match it. But there we go. No, so that's. You see, what I, you see what I mean? You start to feel it when you get to 28. I wouldn't want to take that much further than that. No, 28, 28 to max there. And that's about 29 now. But it's not. With it being so short, I was expecting it to nip up on the string. I mean, it might be different once you've got a, an arrow on there. But if you're using a Slavic release, it shouldn't be a problem. There we are. So, it's fiberglass and wood. Um, fiberglass limbs. It's wood reinforcement in the section. Um, beach sears. Um, and like all Turkish bows, the hand goes the opposite way to what you expect it to. And the handle goes away from you. Nice thing about this though, which I would I didn't expect, it's got finger grooves in the front, so you know exactly where to grab hold of the bow. And it's got a bit of a shelf, believe it or not. I mean the shelf is just created with um, an extra layer of serving just there, but it is what it is. It's a nice little touch, I think. Um, the bow itself retailed for, well retails for between 100 and 100 and pa 120 pounds UK retail. Um, God knows what you can get it elsewhere. Um, but it's, it's not a bad little bow, I quite like that. It seems, it's appealing to my desire for something a little bit different because at the moment, if you watch the reviews and the videos and all that sort of thing, everybody seems to be going for the long the long Turkish, the long Assyrian style bows. And I seem, I'm going the other way, like with that short Scythian bow, and now with this one, a little tiny bow. Just to be a little bit different. Yes, you can, you can feel that, 30 pound to 28, but it also feels like there's a, there's a lot of energy stored there. Right, so, leather covered, nice shape. Um, Linen, I think, 
black linen serving around the sears. The sears are fairly nicely, they're a little bit rough in places, um, but they're not bad, not bad, well finished. And at the top there, I've been reliably informed on this side that we've got a maker's mark and 28 inches, 30 pound to 28 inches on there. The grip itself is all cord. There's no separate arrow pass other than a slightly different texture of cord where the arrow pass would be, just above that little shelf. I don't know if you can see it. Little shelf on each side made with cord. I quite, I quite like this. Right, so oh, you leather cupboard, um, nicely cross tied on the inside of the limbs. Right, so all that's left to do now is go and shoot it. So come with me, and we'll go and sling some sticks with it. So the very first shots fired from this new little Turkish short bow. Um, and I promise I haven't fired this before. You are seeing the first shots with it. Um, the problem is, the sun is so bright, I don't know whether I can actually see anything at all. But we're going to give it a go. Right, so. A little bit of a warm up. Now this is a 30 pound draw weight bow at a maximum of 28 inches. Don't draw it any further than 28. Right, so let's see what this is like. Well, it's in the target and that felt fast. That felt like it threw that away quite quickly. Right, so we're just lining it up again, give it a one. And the target again, and again, that feels quite quick. No stacking, nice smooth draw. Now you can tell, it, when it gets to 28 inches, it does not want to go any further. Um, it doesn't stack, it just stops. Um, it's almost like it's telling you, no, no further. 28 and no more. Because it's literally, it becomes a solid bar. Um, there's a little tiny bit of give on it as you come to full draw, 28 inches, and this, so you could go a little tiny bit further, but it's telling you, no, don't do it anymore. Right, there we go. I've got one more. We'll do this one, last one. Um, now I'm shooting this Mediterranean just because it's the first time shooting it. Oh, I've got a broken knock. No, I think we're okay. No, not broken, just awkward. Yeah, so we're shooting in Mediterranean just because it's the first time shooting it. Um, just to make sure I can get on target. I think the arrows are a little bit heavy for it, so we're getting a bit of, sorry, a little bit light, so we're getting a bit of bow slap. But it feels nice to shoot. It's a nice bow. So there we go. Short Turkish, 41 inches overall, 39 inch string, 28 pound draw weight at, at 20, sorry, 30 pound draw weight at 28 inches. Do not draw further than 28. Available in weights up to 50 pound, 
So it's no junior boat, it's no toy boat. It is a real. Anyway, there you go. Bye, Alibo. Right. Hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Um, short and sweet. We'll talk again soon. Cheers now. Bye. Get me arrows. <laughs>